Hello everybody, Brian Keeler here. Welcome to French's Island, Pennsylvania. It's the historic site on the Susquehanna River uh, north of Wailusing and uh, upstream from Wailusing and uh, just uh, right near Tawanda, Pennsylvania. And I'm here with Simone Roy <laughs> and she's from Lewisburg, Pennsylvania. I'm just saying that because I'm practicing the French pronunciation of her name. Okay. Did I get that it right? That was pretty good. It's Simone. That was very good. Okay. Brian. And Simon is one of over 20 artists participating in the Plein Air Festival here this year. It's the second year, and she's uh, been busy all week painting. And uh, we're just going to turn it over and let uh, Simon uh, talk about her, her paintings. Okay. So. Well, these are three of eight that I did. We had about four days. We had two days of beautiful sunny weather with puffy clouds, and we had two days of rain. So it was a challenge in that regard. Um, luckily, there, was, there are a few places that you can get shelter and paint. So this was the first day of you on Carrick Hill, looking down back toward French's Island. There's, there's a little farm there that everybody loves to paint, yeah. myself included. And then uh, this one, this was yesterday when we had a bit of a rainy start to the day and uh, the sun was just peeking through and hitting this sycamore, which is what drew me in to want to paint it. And then the, this boat came out of the river, came up, you know, uh, along, and there were three or four guys on it who had just been fishing. It was about nine in the morning, and they were going up for breakfast. And one guy yelled back, he said, hey, if you paint my boat, I'll buy it. So I said, well, why not paint a boat? So I painted the boat. I never saw him, but it was fun to try a boat. And, uh, and that's that. So that was yesterday morning. Now, see what I did yesterday afternoon. I waited all week for a beautiful view of the river. And finally, finally yesterday afternoon, the, the light was perfect. And I went down the road. It's not far. It's about two miles from here and uh, stood up on a picnic table and got, there were trees here, here, and a shrub here. But I could see just this tiny little piece there and I said, okay, there's my focal point. And I, I could jump around, move around to kind of get the rest of the composition. And that was probably my most fun day because it was the last day. There was no pressure. I had already done enough paintings for the show and I thought, I'm just gonna goof off here and I'm gonna use crazy hot pink board um, and just have fun. So it, it, I, I felt very happy painting it, and I think that comes through as the maybe the most cheerful of the paintings. This is a somber painting. This was done on a very stormy day. I was at the Marie Antoinette Overlook, and I was able to stand in one of those stone shelters that are just lovely because they have stone arches that allow you to look out and, and it almost frames the composition for you. So that was a great time, even though I had to keep moving back when the storm would come and the wind would blow the rain in. And then I'd go back out, paint for a half hour, go back in. And the, the, the motion was incessant. Um, I tried to freeze it at a point that where I liked the light effects, but I had a hundred possibilities to work from. This was a sunny afternoon uh, at the Wyalusing Rocks Overlook. Um, I painted this view last year as an 11 by 14, more of a rectangle, and I wanted to do a panorama of it all year. I've been thinking, I've got to go back with a larger canvas and do that. So that was the first day. Uh, then it rained again Friday, uh, and there was live music here at the festival, and I wanted to hear it, especially the afternoon with Pete Seeger songs. So I was able to position myself by the, the Laporte House, which is the main attraction here where you can get tours and so forth. It's a historic house, has a lot of interesting architecture, combination of five different styles. And um, I was able to stand close enough to the music, but get a good angle on the house. And I had an umbrella. And it, and it, you know, it came out pretty, pretty well for a, a rainy day painting. I much prefer sunny days, but you know, when you're in a competition, you don't get to pick and choose. So. Thank you, Simone. You're, you're welcome.
look for these uh, paintings. Uh, yes. You have a website? I do. Uh, what is your it's website? my name. It's simonroy.com. Okay. And um, uh, the festival has a website to Susquehanna, Susquehanna SolsticeFest.com. And uh, you can find a lot of information on there uh, about it. So uh, this is the second year. And um, uh, we hope to do it next year. So uh, if you're not on our radar, uh, uh, look us up and you'll, you'll find all about us on our, our website. And uh, we usually have a brochure made. So uh, if you didn't make it this year, put us on your radar for next year and join us. Thank you so much. Cheers.